Hey happy homemaker and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick and dirty empty house tour. Partly because this house was still dirty. This was our first like walk through to kind of go through and check and make sure the house was how we wanted it before closing. But also because not all of these footage is very smooth because I was in a hurry to do this really quickly before the person showed up who was going to be doing our walk through with us. And so kind of was just rushing. But this is the first bedroom. Now you will notice in all the closets or you may not but if you do they're missing the brackets in the closet which is something we had to note on our uh, stuff with her so that is missing in all of the closets the little brackets for stability but this is the guest bathroom slash the girls bathroom it has white granite and white countertops this is the second bedroom the closets in this house are pretty small but it is what it is this is an 1800 square foot house so we came in the front door if you go to the right is what I showed you guys first to the left is the two-car garage and across the hallway from the garage is the laundry room. Now this house, they had a special promotion where it came with a washer and dryer, but we don't need that um, because you guys may know we already have a brand new washer and dryer we had just bought. I wish we had known ahead of time that that was gonna come with this house, but we'll probably end up just selling that set or giving it to someone who's in need. So this is the third bedroom. This is the one that I'm planning to be the office and my studio recording space for uh, my other YouTube channel. This is the closet here, which again is small, but this will be perfect for putting all of my like filming supplies and extra um, electronic stuff. So if you come back out into the hallway and go to the left, there's a little linen closet here. Aaron thought it was funny that they put that little tiny square piece of carpet in that closet. But I mean, I think that's normal. he needed to look at something for the serial number on the oven. So I moved on from that, but I'll come back and give you guys a better view of that. So this is an open floor plan, as you can tell. This is the dining space and the living space. If you go out through the back door, this is our backyard. Now this is going to be completely sodded, but it just wasn't done yet on this day. And they were, um, our fence was really nice. I really like the fence that we got here. So that's the backyard. It's smaller than what we have now in our rental, but it's actually not terrible. There is a playground in this neighborhood. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. So the girls will have plenty of space to play there. And we actually picked a house that's across the street from the playground purposefully. So it'll be easy to go to the park. Here is the master suite. It's a pretty good size master um, bedroom. You guys obviously will be able to tell the size of everything better when I do a tour showing it furnished. I'll definitely do that for you guys later on. We do have open shelving in here and a nice big five foot by five foot shower, which again, it's kind of hard to tell in these videos how large it is, but it's, the shower is huge and I love it. We also have white cabinets and white granite in this bathroom as well. It looks gray in these videos, but it's actually white. It's just the way that the lighting is. So here is the shower, a little small window up there, and it is the white subway tile in the shower. It's actually real tile. It's not just an insert. Kind of hard to tell in this video. Here is the master closet. I um, actually am very happy with the size of the closet. It's a really nice size closet as well. Again, it's a lot smaller than what we have in our current rental because the closet in this house was humongous, but it's plenty big enough for our needs. And so I am happy with it. Again, you can see all of where those little boards are coming down is where they should have those little um, stability brackets or whatever, so that is that there's no overhead like bulb lightings in this bathroom um it's just the reset lightings which is nice because i won't have to like dust any of that we do have this ceramic tile like wood plank looking thing throughout the house and then carpet in all of the bedrooms which we are actually really happy about when we first started um trying to build we weren't sure if we wanted carpet in the bedrooms but now that we've experienced a house that only had hardwood floors we love the carpet in the bedroom we've really missed it so we're happy to have that what you think? <laughs> Coming out, here is the kitchen really quickly. Again, I'm going to give you guys kind of a better overview of how it all looks coming from this way. And I'll show you guys in the pantry in just a minute. But this is what everything looks like. They ended up upgrading the house to backsplash subway tile. We didn't get to pick any fixtures or anything in this house. It just came as is. There was no options for upgrades. It's just how they did this particular neighborhood for whatever reason. But we're happy with all of the colors and everything. So it worked out well. Again, this is the pantry. Not as big as what we have in our rental 
rental because the rental was a very large pantry, but plenty big enough for us. We also don't have nearly the amount of cabinets in this house that we had in our previous house and also the rental either, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. If you guys have been around, you know our original plan was to buy some acreage and build like a 2,800 square foot house. And the main reason we wanted a house that was larger was because we wanted to have nice big closets and also more space for guests. But because of the current state of the housing market, we'll be waiting probably about three to five years to realize that dream at least maybe longer we'll see that is the entire tour i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned i'll be sharing with you guys once we have all of our furniture in here because you'll be able to see it a little bit better and i'll talk to y'all in the next one bye